Now, a university band from Bristol has made it through to audition for Simon Cowell's Britain's Got Talent. Last year, we had the winner here in the West, Paul Potts, who swapped working in Tesco's for singing opera. Can the students repeat his success? Rachel Royce joined them at their rehearsal. I'm with the band now and I can tell you they are jazzy, they are groovy and they are very, very loud. This is their last rehearsal before their big audition when they've got to impress Britain's harshest judge, Simon Cowell. Have they got what it takes? See what you think. Take it away, guys. One, two, one, two, three. The Horn Stars have been together for three years and are a 25-piece band. They practice several times a week and are already making a name for themselves, playing at balls, weddings and parties across the West. Then came the invite. Well, um, they actually approached us, they emailed our uh, society president, Josh, and said, you know, they'd sort of heard about us doing gigs around Bristol and did we fancy auditioning. Last year, Paul Potts, who used to work in a supermarket in Eastville, was a very popular winner of the show. He wowed the judges and won the hearts of the nation by singing opera. But how do the Horn Stars feel about facing the panel of judges? Amanda Holden, Piers Morgan and Simon Cowell. Well, I am a little bit nervous. Obviously, Simon Cowell is a very harsh judge, but I've no doubt that we'll impress him, really. I think he's very mean, <laughs> but um, I think if we can show him that we're good, I hope he has some nice things to say about us. The trumpet player has the scary job of playing a solo for the judges. I only found out that I was doing it. Um, about half an hour ago because our star saxophonist is, is uh, unavailable so um, I'm slightly nervous uh, but I hope it goes okay and I hope he doesn't grill me too much whatever I come up with on the on the day Rachel Royce in Bristol for the West Tonight.